Hello friends, my name's James. And this is my 1965 Alberg 30 Sloop SV Tritea. We're on a mission to sail around the world and see as much of this beautiful planet as possible. On this season, we're working our way through New Zealand. I want to share with you all the magic that is Aotearoa. Hello friends, well, it's time to move on. I'm here in Auckland and the boat is all ready. And now we're gonna do the big push down to the South Island. Um, the total distance is like 530 miles, I think, something like that. We're gonna do it hopefully in three legs. Um, today's push will be from, from here to uh, around the Coromandel Peninsula to a place called Kennedy Bay. Um, spend a night there and should have like mellow winds tomorrow I'll be able to rest and then we're gonna push from there down to Gisborne uh, across the Bay of Plenty um, right now the forecast is showing really good following winds following seas should have a good run down to Gisborne that's gonna be 220 something miles so that's like a two-day passage um, it's a lot harder to do solo two-day non-stop passages coastally than it is on the ocean. It's a lot safer on the ocean because there's just nothing around that's dangerous. And you can like, you know, less shipping traffic, no coast to worry about, none of that stuff. So, a little nerve wracking uh, to be doing this passage. I'm doing it down the east coast instead of the west coast. Most people go up around Cape Brianga and just do it offshore. But all the winds have been pretty gnarly over on that side, so with spring setting in, there's been like good winds to kind of get me all the way down. Um, the third leg will be from Gisborne or Napier all the way to Wellington, which is about 200 miles. So that's the jam and uh, the boat's ready to go. So let's get underway. There's some orcas. Oh, I wish it wasn't raining. See if we get close enough and I can show you. Oh, there they are. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Awesome. So cool! Last time I saw Orcas was in 2015 off Point Conception on a delivery. That's awesome. They're, they're right there. Stoked, stoked, stoked on that. So stoked to see Orcas. That is awesome. 
they have such a bad rap right now because of that pod in Portugal, but there's like tens of thousands of workers swimming by boats and near people all over the world that aren't causing problems. Kind of like anything, I guess, right? But another sailor passed me in the channel, Greg, and uh, he messaged me on Instagram and told me that he saw a bunch of orcas and a bunch of whales between here and Great Barrier and to keep my eye out. Um, sure enough, boom, as soon as we got out by Rangitoto, there are five orcas. So cool. Sun's trying to come out. We're doing like two and a half to three knots. It's so brutal. No wind. It was supposed to be like 12 to 14 knots of wind right now. There's no wind. We're passing Waihiki, trying to pass Waihiki Islands, but over the city it's like clearing up. But out here, it's clearing up a little. So, I don't know. Um, my concern is that once I get past these islands, this is we're passing Rakino and the Noisies right now, and they're kind of blocking the sea state, right? So if we get out here and we have like big, you know, over a meter swells, that's going to slow our progress to two knots. I'm not going to drive like 50 miles at two knots with no wind assist. So I might point for Elephant Cove, which is like 20 miles from us right now. That's like off the uh, coast of the Coromandel, or Coromandel Peninsula. So that's like plan B, we'll see. I'll, I'm not gonna turn for that until I get kind of it on my beam and then I'll be nine miles away and I'll be running down with what little wind there is and the seas. So it'll be nighttime anyway, it doesn't matter. But hopefully we can push through. I wanna get up and around the peninsula tonight I would rather just have a slog today and then have good sailing from here on out. I knew that was always going to be the option or the possibility, but I thought there was going to be more wind than this. But that's sailing. So the winds just increased to like, I don't know, 15 knots and the sea state now that we're outside of the protection of the island. So there's no way we can make it around the peninsula tonight. So I just turned to uh, plan B, pointing for Elephant Cove. It says we should be there in four hours. It's like 20 miles away, 18 miles away. Pretty gnarly out all of a sudden. But since we turned, we have a much better angle on the wind. So we're doing five knots finally. Whoa, big boy. Gnarly. Very big seas. We're doing five knots. So, I just killed the engine. Some kind of alarm was going off. It wasn't really doing much for us anyway, so. But my concern is now we have Waiheke Island on a lee shore. We're pretty far away from it, but it's unnerving. So I, I turned the engine off so maybe it can cool down or whatever in case we need it in a pinch, but we're still doing five knots, so it wasn't doing anything for us. It got real gnarly, real quick. 
Um, we're 16 miles from the safe anchorage. We're doing like five knots, which is good. But I just worry about, oh shit. I just worry about being on this lee shore of this island. Not fun, not fun. That's why coastal is so difficult. Especially when there's like, cause this was not, it was supposed to be 12 knots of wind out here. And it's blowing 20, easy, easy. I have two reefs in the main and like very little, 50% of the heads allowed. And we're doing five knots. Big, big seas too. Like easily six foot seas regularly. So once we clear Waiheke, I'll feel good about it. But a little nerve wracking right now. Big wave. Booker. Okay, plan C. I'm just gonna run for Waiheke. For Hawk Bay, I think is the name of it. Um, we're like 4.8 miles away. It's a safe anchorage. And, uh, yeah, it's just too silly out here. There's no reason to be out in this silliness. I don't like putting stress on the boat for no reason. And, uh, this is definitely one of those situations. So, 4.8 miles said we should be in, in like 45 minutes. 36 minutes or something. So... Yeah, and it should be really well protected from this wind and the sea. So, that'll be good, especially because we're gonna be anchoring in the dark, but it looks like a good spot, well protected, and the wind's gonna clock. I was thinking about it and I was like, oh, the wind, or it's gonna back. If the wind backs, that elephant cove might, I might get trapped in there. I've never been there, so I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna go to this spot, which is a wide open big bay on Waiheke and uh, lick my wounds and uh, get some sleep. We are in the anchorage. A little gusty, but uh, protected from the swell. Looking for the best water. Water depth and protection. have a plan C <laughs> plan C I think this is called Hawk Bay or Hooks Bay maybe it's Hooks Bay I don't know I'll put it on the screen right now but uh wow what a wild ride and um, now I got to get this mainsail dealt with sit anchor watch and then collapse in my bunk because it has been a wild one Whew. Good morning from Hooks Bay on Waiheke Island. 
The wind has come down, the seas have come down tremendously. <laughs> um, this is an okay night. I okay spot for the night. A little bit of wraparound swell, but I was able to sleep. Um, yesterday's sort of like surprise wind and sea state <clears throat> made me realize I don't want to be on a lee shore for 500 miles. The possibility of a lee shore for 500 miles. Um, and that's what's, that's the reality if I sail down the east coast. And the forecast can change pretty quickly. So I'm gonna, I've made my mind up this morning that I'm gonna do what most people do, uh, is I'm gonna go ahead and sail north around Cape Rianga and then sail south down to like Nelson or the Sounds. The goal is to get to the Sounds. I'm gonna be in the Sounds for like a month and a half, so. That's what we're trying to do. And uh, I'd wanted to go down the East Coast just so I could see more. I wanted to hop in and see some of those spots, but being solo and as like changeable and intense as the weather is here, it's just, it's just too risky and exhausting. Heading around Cape Rianga, it's just an offshore sail. It's just like ocean sailing for three to four days. It's like 400 miles from the point Cape Rianga right at the point to Nelson, so three and a half, four days, depending on the wind. But offshore, you're well offshore because of the shape of the island. So that is like, I can get back into a regular sort of ocean sailing sleep schedule where hopping, trying to hop down, there's only a couple spots to tuck into for like I don't know, about four or five hundred miles. After you round East Cape, there's only like two, two or three spots that you can really duck into. So it's just not worth it to me. Like good seamanship is like understanding that sometimes you have to do stuff that's annoying. <laughs> like what's annoying for me in this is that I have to sail all the way back north to round the Cape and come down. That annoys me, but sometimes like the right choice is annoying. So. Um, we're not going to have much wind to actually get very far north for the next, like, week or so. So today, here in the next hour, I'm going to haul up and sell for either Kauau Island or Maharangi. Um, my buddy Keith has his boat up that river. I've stayed in that river before, ridden out storms. And, um, I'm going to go to one of those two spots for the next few days. We have good sailing wind to point to those places today. They're both about 28 nautical miles away. And um, I wanna find some poles to tie up to and let the tide pull out so I can scrape the bottom. Uh, that would be awesome. Keith said there's some poles I can use in Marangi. And if Lynn, Party, and David are back to their house, on Kauau, I know I can just go to their house and do it on their poles. I could probably do it when they're not there too. I just would have to text her, but so we'll see. That's the plan for today. I'm gonna have more coffee and uh, hopefully we'll have a less eventful sale today than we did yesterday.
A lot of variable winds today. We'll go from like burying the rails hard on the wind to like kind of slow sailing like this. I think we're still doing like four knots, which is totally fine. I'd much rather be sailing at four knots than motor sailing at five knots and having to hear the engine. We're coming up on Tiri Tiri. I love that island. Fantastic, fantastic spot. Uh, I haven't seen this side, so it's cool to sail on the back side of it. We are like 14 miles from Kow Wow, which is, I think, where we're heading. I'd rather go to uh, Maharangi, but that would mean like motoring into the wind for like seven miles, so I think we'll just sail to Kow Wow. We are anchored at Bonacord Anchorage. <clears throat> Making a bagel because I'm starving. Um, 28 nautical mile passage. I checked out another anchorage that I thought about going into, which ended up being a mistake. <laughs> it looked like the wind direction in the chart that it would have been more protected, but it wasn't. And then I had to beat out of there and get back around to this side. Um, I've been here before. I like this spot. This is where the mansion house is. And uh, we might just be here tonight and move to a different spot, a different island tomorrow. It's supposed to be dead, dead calm winds tomorrow. Now it's time for me to make proper lunch and um, just relax. If you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to contribute, you can consider joining the Patreon crew. Thanks for watching. Fair winds until next time.